because this was bottom line, perfectly flat every direction. They cannot understand how I rode that tractor. Maybe it has something to do with me uh, having somebody else on their tractor that I was maybe talking to him and got distracted. But I rode the tractor over on top of myself and the wheels are usually like this here, but now they're laid sideways and it went across my vein and left the artery open. To their surprise, I was alive and kicking. I broke my jaw in seven places. My head was literally this big. And uh, two days later, I was out of the hospital. A couple of days later, I was back in school. And uh, I'm very grateful for being here. Several things that uh, any operator of a tractor needs to recognize before they get out on, uh, on the road or in the field is to do a pre-maintenance check on the, on, the, on the vehicle and to make sure everything is ready to go, especially all the safety features, such as the air pressure, such as having the lights working, having the uh, SMV emblem in place, and then just recognizing that in some cases you may need an escort vehicle to go along with you if you're transporting equipment so that motorists can see clearly that there's something in the road ahead that's moving a lot slower. And so during especially busy times of the year, like fall harvest and spring planting, you're going to have a lot more intermingling of high-speed vehicles and slow-moving pieces of equipment. And, and everyone needs to figure out a way to be patient enough to get through those times. If you're using a tractor for mowing of ditch banks or on uneven ground, is my recommendation is that, that that tractor be equipped with a rollover protective structure because you know already that those are going to be in a high vulnerable situation where the likelihood of an overturn is greater than it would be on level ground. The other things are that you should consider is the use of ballast, putting uh, weight on the, on the, in the tires or the front of the tractor to keep the weight of the tractor down, keep the center of gravity low so it's less likely to tip. It's a full-time job when you get on that tractor. Yes, it can be boring going back and across the field, doing the same thing a thousand times. But you really must keep yourself alert. You really must say this is a full-time job on this tractor, and it's very important that you do that to keep yourself safe. Anytime an operator is moving at high speed on a tractor that uh, has a high center of gravity or may be uh, carrying a load, they have to slow down when they make turns, otherwise they're going to flip over as the, as the forces involved in going around a corner exceeds those of the stability of the tractor. If you then move into the area of just terrain, in most cases, uh, an operator may just want to avoid, such as moving it into permanent vegetation, so they're not having to be on those steep terrains where the likelihood of, of an overturn increases. That also includes areas around ponds, and, and lakes or streams where embankments may give away and cause the vehicle to then flip over into the, into the stream or into the pond, uh, oftentimes causing the farmer not to die from the overturn but be trapped under the equipment and drowned in the, in the water. Most overturns that occur are overturns to the side, either due to steep terrain or due to speed as it's going around a corner. Another type of overturn which is less frequent are overturns to the rear where you attach a chain or a tow strap higher on the tractor than the drawbar and that pulls the tractor back over on itself over the axle and crushes the farmer directly underneath the tractor and oftentimes uh, those types of overturns result in fatality. If a farmer's serious about using a piece of equipment, a tractor, an older tractor that may not have been equipped with the ROPS, and to continue using it in the field or for utility purposes like for mowing ditch banks, I strongly recommend that it be retrofitted with the ROPS. I hope this message will be seen by somebody else that could possibly save their life and, and not have a tractor rover like I did.